Hello my dear friend, this is IT Junior Computer School, my name is Nikita and today I'll teach you how to create a maze game in Scratch. So as you see, first of all we start with a totally blank project, I even deleted my cat. And we'll go to library and find the mouse. Because it will be our main character. Okay, good, and as you understand this is a game, so we need to move it. We'll go to events and we'll take when green flag is clicked to create controls. And then we'll use if cycles. They work pretty easy. Here you have a condition. If it's true, then something that's inside of it will work. I'll show you. For example, I'll go to sensing and I'll take key space pressed. And then I'll go back to motion and take move 10 steps. I'll connect it, but it will not work. I'll tell you why. When we will click our green flag, it will check once if key space is pressed and then it will move 10 steps. I'll show you. So I'm clicking and you see our program is stopping automatically. We'll need to use forever cycle. Now as you see, it's working. Okay, so I'll just duplicate it three more times until I will have four if cycles. And I'll use up arrow, down arrow right arrow and left arrow. So we have movements right now, but if we will press anything, our mouse will move only 10 steps to the right. So we need to also change the direction. We'll use point in direction, you can find it in motion. I'll just take point in direction and for example, for up arrow, you can click here and you'll see this arrow. You just need to point it up. The same with any other script. So, down arrow, I'll just point this arrow down. And same for right and left arrow. Like this. So, as you see right now, we can move our mouse. Everything's working fine. The most common mistake is when you accidentally put if cycle inside of another. As you see right now, my if key left arrow pressed is inside of key right arrow, so I won't be able to move my mouse to the left at all. So you'd better check it. Okay, when we're finished with this one, now we need to put our mouse somewhere in the left upper corner and decrease size up to 60. And we need to make starting coordinates. Right now they are go to X minus 200 and 136 for Y. Uh, it's for me, you can place your mouse in every other place you want. And we'll just press it here. Therefore, every time we will start our program again, our mouse will spawn right here. You can also use pointing direction and turn this arrow down, so it will always look down. Okay. Now we need to go to the stage to draw our maze. You just simply click here. Okay, so it will glow with blue color and you will now have motion blocks here. And we'll need to go to backdrops. They're on the same spot where costumes for typical sprites are. And we need to start drawing a maze. For example, I will draw a simple circle somewhere here for my mouse spawn. I will take outline to green for example. And I'll make feel empty using this button, like this. Okay. Uh, right now you can see my circle, so I'll move it a bit to make it perfectly, like this. Okay. Then I'll take this tool and I'll draw my maze. You can choose those objects by using this tool, it's called cursor tool, so you can increase size a bit or move them. Okay, after we're finished, we can go back to our mouse and see that everything is working, but still our mouse can move through walls. So we need to fix it. We will use if cycle again. So we'll go to control, we'll take our if then cycle and place it in the end. Basically, it doesn't matter in which place you'll put it because 
this forever cycle is checking all those four conditions like million times in a second that's why so but I'll just put it in the end and I'll go back to my sensing and you need to find touch and color you place it right here and for color I'll just choose black and then I will just go here and I will duplicate mine coordinates and place them here I'll also go to look and I'll use say oops for two seconds or you can use one second let's check okay now if I will touch my wall I'll go back to my spawn place and you also can use point in direction so I will automatically turn down side like this okay let's check again so as you see everything is working so we can move somewhere right here and go in our but it's pretty easy so let's make it a bit harder we'll go back to our library and we need to find a cat it's called cat2 after you took it you need to place it somewhere right here if you have the same maze as me and make it smaller up to 80 i think will be enough okay so this cat will be trying to catch our mouse he'll move like this and to make this we'll need only three blocks so it's pretty easy i'll show you we'll go to when green flag is clicked and we'll also need forever cycle because we want our cat to move all the time then we'll go to motion place your cat in upper position and use glide one second to x and y then place him down and take the same as you see the coordinates are changed because they're using the current coordinates you can find right here so right now it's already working but he's kinda fast and he's not looking in the direction he's moving so let's take point in direction and make it down and up like this okay that's better but it, he's still too fast so we'll make glide two seconds okay let's check how it's working right now if I will touch my cat my mouse will automatically go to spawn you can ask how it works I'll tell you as you may notice our cat has also black outline so when our mouse touches our cat it automatically goes back to its place okay and we need to add only the last detail we need to add something right here we'll go back to our library again and our mouse will like cheesy things so we'll find something cheesy oh we have cheesy puffs okay we'll use them we'll place them right here I'll also make them a bit smaller something like 80 and now as you see I can move and find my cheese puffs so I need to be careful with my cat okay but nothing is working so we also need to make some script for it we'll go back to our mouse script and at the time make sure all your if cycles are one after another and I'll use another if cycle I'll place it also in the end and then I'll go back to my sensing and as you see here I can found touching mouse pointer so I will take it as you may notice every block with those arrows have different variants right here so we can choose mouse pointer edge my cat or cheesy puffs I'll use cheesy puffs and I'll go back to looks and I'll say yummy and then I'll just simply stop all like this let's check so okay as you see it's working our game automatically stops so right now we're done with our first part of our maze game thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video my name is nikita this was it junior computer school bye bye